Dear viewers, my name is Sirandao and we are back with part 3 of the National Dialogue on Forgiveness, Accountability and Healing. The National Dialogue is a series of discussions designed to engage victims, their family members and all stakeholders in the transitional justice process in the Gambia in preparing for life post-TRRC. Anaked, with its partners, deem it necessary to put together such a platform in order to promote a more balanced process, a process that will set this country firmly on the path of never again. In part three today, we'll be talking about religion and accountability. And the objective is to highlight the importance of accountability in both religious and secular settings, and the dangers of using religion and religious beliefs to protect human rights violators. We first sat down with Commissioner Imam Babali of the National Human Rights Commission to tell us the role of the Human Rights Commission in the transitional justice process in the Gambia, as well as their expectations and plans post-TRRC. Yeah, Imam, you book on Galera and you the National Human Rights Commission, see Gambia Fini, Lan Moisin role, Lan Moisin to Hawaii, see transitional justice process be the be be in Neka, see Bill Gambia Fin Tolo, Nisi Jamanagi, that I'm Fia Yamajoge. Jerry of Ajisira, Sun Tahawai, see transitional justice, Bigawahni, eh, Lu Yatula, Lu Gudala Waiti Gatal Rek, Moi, eh, nous comme nous avons vu les lois, nous sommes tous les gens qui ont fait les choses, du 7, du 7 ans, tout ce qui est le plus important de la vie d'Adam, il y a eu des gens, 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 il y a des choses qui sont très importantes. Je suis très heureux. Si vous avez dit que vous avez dit que vous avez dit la National Human Rights Commission, qu'est-ce que vous avez dit à la TRRC, la Truth Reconciliation and Reconciliation Commission, ou la Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission, depuis 2018, qu'est-ce que vous avez dit à la TRRC Nous avons dit que la TRRC est très importante. Ganau banjir kali, nyungi ya karne lipalo hamne, nyom gini nanyo chiseni sarta, def ko chiseni chakutef, ngurgi warko def, riumi warko nanguto, dina nyo def namware, dina nyo def namware, moi dunne karipot bo hamne, dafa ya empty binda netalirek, dina nyo ijifunda, dumi adamu yal dafu kuro sain sain. Dua macam ada masalah ni apa? Dua macam ada masalah ni apa? Dua macam ada masalah ni apa? Bukan dia fikir lay bidu dua orang ni nyaman cuma won, mata marah dia. Walau nyaman cuma won, mata madur dia. Walau nyaman cuma won, mata madur dia. Dah yau langgar agak yang kau dia fikir, kanga khamne dua macam ada malah ni aw. Kon lulu, cisu ni akar nyun, antang ke National Human Rights Commission, mui nyu implement recommendation ni komision bi to the letter. Kon mau buka wahne, linsian tu cuci TRRC, mui lige busel labu rafet. Dah nyunyep gis nain, ken netale unyuko. Nyunyep setan nain, ken netale unyuko. Ham nain nyi tony, ham nain nyi tony, ham nain nyi ray, ham nain nyi real. Kon buah bu sudon deka bunyu idem la, gis nain yon bi bepare. Ya rejef ya imam. Bilau lu pasi, kom neng kau heri rese expectation si mui punyu implement, dengan ya kar mui nene. Li suri pot begini, li TRRC bawa. Dengar komen, guru ini tak awal lalu tu di letter. Kau ni kau he. Kau ni yang yang ay sertai yang tak awal, walau yang ay aktiviti yang amlo hamil yang per 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 pot bes boba. Wah hamga National Human Rights Commission, boko serlo ni ko anggal edi wah he. Boka nasi sen ligai dia whistle blowers. Mui nihga hamne. Sun foge mbir nyutela ye ni nyubai chel. Pare pare na nyubah nak, buboba puriyekne TRRC la ni recommend def na nyukoto de letter. Wala su ame benna tolof tolof buchi nara am nyundi na nyukoye ba nebe adinebiye ko. Nyunda kaji sira amu dole ate aktich. Nyunda amu ate bobo. Amu ate amu dole item. Pour atteindre les gens qui ont passé en 2019. 
amuñu seen seen bi leppalu trrc atetam amuñu doole pour atté wat ko ndara fekk lañ atté won dañ koy jalgati lañ atté won nak suñu dañ koy jalgati bu boba kañ jalgati axam su ñëwé ci ñun lolu loi bi constitution jox nañu ci doole té bu boba duñ ci nasax muk duñ ci nagu muk dinañ top ña nga xamné ñoko saytu ndax nguur ni ko xamé la axa bo gis amna ñuko saytu euh amna foy dem amna yo xamné mu nga ci loxo inspecteur de police amna bo xamné mu nga ci xajna interior ministre ba da fay dem be amna bo xamné ci président lo xom la né té national human right commission bayiwut ken ndax doomi adama bo gis am nga axa président bi ci bopam amna rightam way amna rights yo xamné momitam moko wara faciliter pour doomi rew mi am ko banné xoko té ñun alhamdullilah ñu ngi santé yalla bu baax be fiñ tollu ni tay euh bokkana ci suñ liggéey ak li adina ci sentu ci ñun moy baña par parler ñun duñu far parler fo xamné fa la mbir mi na suñ ko gesto be am lu lèr dinañ ko yébané dinañ joko ña nga xamné ñoko saytu li moy suñ préparer té inshallah ñu ngi ñaan yalla yalla mé ñu fekké ko inshallah rabbi ya rajif yalla In talking about the concept of accountability in Islam, we had the honor of sitting down with Imam Usmanja, Amirul Hajj of the Gambia. Yeah, Imam. You book on galera and you tuti. Islam, lan la wasi lanyo oye accountability. So ni accountability, lan la lulu don si Islam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Accountability. So fe kon ni Islam. dafa am ay pilas yo xamne mokoy doxal accountability su nekkut force bi dafay nekk second pila ndax accountability moy indi stability moy indi dal te islam liko yittel moy naka la dom adama yi di mana def ba dal di dund ci jamm euh te lolu gis nañ ne ci accountability rek lay mëna amé justice lu am solo la ci islam ta justice mënu ta am ta accountability amul lolu mota islam euh liko gëna ittel pour mu bil ko ci kiñ tuddé ab muslim wala ci dom adama moy mu believe in accountability parce que so ko gëmut sax so gëmut accountability sax moy indi njubadi because su fekke ne dem nañ ba nga jappane luma def dara du ci geena for example su boba nit ku ne lu ko neex def so gisé nit ki di jema jub even su ko ken gisut du nango def lo xamné lu lu bon la lu yak la because dafa japp ne accountability mu ci kanamam mota julit bim ñëwé li ñëkk duggal ci xeli nit ki moy né amna benen adina buy ñëw bo xamné lu mëna def fi su fekké sa nit ñi gisuñ la wayé buy lu baax diñ ko amaat buy lu bon dina ñëwaat lepp dafa ñëwaat ci yow so lolu mota nit ki su ko kenn gisut sax mu ngi avoid pour def lo xamné dafa daf ko lor elek soko xitché nak mu ñew ci ñun suñ society yi ni euh accountability dafa nek ben pila bu am solo bo xamné da fay tabax stability ak dal ak ñu dëkk ci ci jamm ak salam euh ci bir society suñ nekkon ci bir society bo xamné accountability amul masalan nga xamné nit ki su défé dara du ci génn so demone tay police eh duñ account ki nga xamne mom mo def offen so deme ci court ki nga xamne mo offen duñ ko account at the end of the day society bi yeb da fay mujj nek ay tiaxane yo xamne ken dootut ñemeti dooto ñeme genn dooto manam dal dootut amati motax ci islam mom da fa gobne accountability dañ ko wara def suñ ko deful rek ken dootut dund ci jamm mota so ñewé ci alquranul karim sax muy wax né fil qisasi hayatun manam ci accountability moy indi stability accountability moy indi stability manam lolu mu ngi koy wax ci buñ démé bañ né nit dafa ray nit 
ñu dem ba gis ne moko tay islam dafa wax ne nañ ko ray mu melni su islam waxe lol da ngay wax ne waw ñak nañ ben bakkan moy ki ñu ray oké légui ki hit ñu ray ko kon ñak na ñaari bakkan islam mu ne lolu na moy ta bakkan yi dess fi waye su fekke ki ray ta tay ray ñu ko lol moy ta bakkan yu bari nak dañuy dem ndax comme ko mos nañ ko mu neex mbir mi dañuy continuer because punishment big bi nga xamne mom mom rek mom muna tiyel lo xoy nit ñi def lolu moy ray rek wa any other punishment boko muna def du tax nit ñi yaru ta dañuy continuer di def lolu ci gatal dal accountability pila la bu am solo ci l'islam ta dañu japp ne su fekke appliquer apply apply yuñ ko su boba nation bi duñ mëna dund mukk ci jamm ñu buga xam fim nek ni islam yen sarta la tek state bi moy nguur gi su fekke ni dafa am kuñ toñ ku buga jok ne man dama buga sik accountability dama buga sik justice yen sarta la islam tek nguur xam nga nguur euh dafa am responsibility bu bu disa disa dis because mom la yalla en jammi nit ñi pour ñu aar seen bakkan aar seen deret aar seen momef denga aar seen integrity bu boba kep ko xamne dafa violate euh aqi rayti kenen jaarale ko ci any of these rights ak jim am pour am der bu set ak jim am pour ken du tour deretam ak jim am ken du lal alalam ak jim am ken du fat bakkanam yoy ñoy ak yi nga xamne mom la dom adam am suñ waxe deram ak jim am pour ken du tilimal deram lolu nak individual bu ne daf ko am individual si nak daño nek ci ben ombrella bo xamne mom lañu tudé state state bobu nak mom la diina jox responsibility pour mo regular regularize doxini individual si parce que nit du fajal bopam suñ baxé rew mo xamne nit ñi dañuy fajal seen bop moy jamm do tut amati su boba kon pour jamm am government mom la yalla yen luwahid mom la yen pour muy fajal nit ñi seeni toñange seeni mer kep ko xamne dañ la toñ jaar ci ben ci bunti yi li la war moy bul fayu because so fayo lool dafa indi luñu tudde fawda chaotic la mo indi ci rew ni nga def moy government amna ay institutions demal nga yegal len ko demal ci police bi su fekke da nga wara dem police demal ci court su fekke da nga wara dem court su boba li government wara def ganna bum taxawale institutions yi kon defa gum na dara taxawal na institutions yo xamne kuy joy fa ngay dem jëm te lolu moy police be court bi for example bu boba nak so deme as an individual dañ la wara deglu bu boba ko ka moy government def la wara deglu ta dafa wara mando ta dafa wara transparent deglu nga joxe sa statement mu o ki nga xamne mom lañ tumal mu joxe statementam su fekke offen la dafa jar mu dem court nagn ko yobbu court government su fekke sax amu lo defenda amu lo loya pour defend sa bop government daf la wara utal ko xamne mo wara taxaw pour defend la bam gis ne deug delu delu sina ci sa lox lolu moy waru garu government ta manu ño def accountability te ñeuk ño def in manam government mun ta def ligey bop te ñeuk ño def investigation il faut you ne know, sayyidna ali dafa wax ne su fekke ne ku ku alej ku alej rek ñu jox la li nga alej kon nit ñi da nañ alej sax ne ñoo mom bakkanu diw sangam wala ñoo mom deretu diw sangam waye ki ki nga xamne dafa dafa alej dara dañ la laaj nga proof soko mané proof su boba dañ la wara jox sa deug te deug kenn manu ko joxe lu tut government deug government rek moko meuna joxe su boba kon li war government moy kep ko xamne toñ nañ la nga jaar ci channel yi nga wara jaar channel yoyo war nañu tak sen deug 
gis ne def nañ seen investigation ki am deug nañ lako jox li loi bi bi nga xamne mo govern rew mi lim teural ci ku def ofen sangam nañ la lan lañ la wara def dañ lako wara def on lesson on til borom ak ji mom ne man bayina wa so borom borom ak ji nak amna sañ sañ ne wa man bayina waye su amut su doxul lol dañ ko ko wara tek masalan tay da nga don dawal sa auto ci mbedami nga lalante ak benen moto dafa war police ñu ñew nata xol ba xam kan mo kan mo kan mo kan moy di ofenda ki nga xamne moy ofenda dañ ko wara tek li nga xamne mom la loi bi wax on lesson on til kiñ ofen ne man jegele na amuñ ci ben problème so kon li moy waru garo government dañ ko wara top nak ba ak lu luko luko ci mana aju rek dañ ko ko wara tek ta pour ñu dund ci jamm punishment yi nga xamne mom lañ war di tek ki toñ fek nekkuñ diko ko tek duñ dund ci jamm kon yoy yep lu government war di baye xel la xamne individual sep sen dom lañ te suñ tewut ci loxoy toñ kat yi su boba kenn du dund ci jamm because at the end of the day nit ñi dañuy bëgg di fajal sen bop sen mer te suñ agge ci lolu kon do kenn dootu mëna contrôler ti mbiri kon suñ laaj bu mujjé yaay mam moy ñu bëgga xam ndax ci rew mi fi ni diiné daf dé gal encore accountability ndax dafa nekk lo xamné daf ko advance um ñaar yépp man gis na ko ci first of all diiné is not institutionalized manam diiné du du body bo xamné dañ ko institutionalize ay individual lañ ñom ño represent diiné ñi ñuy tudé ay oustaz ay imam ay nangam amna rek ben institution bo xamné institution du diiné la bu government moy kadi court fofa ñom ñu ngi def seen liggéey jigen jo xamné sa jëkër daf la toñ wala dafa jël sa ak wala jabar jo xamné dafa toñ jëkëram wala nangam am nañ fu ñuy joyé ji moy kadi court su ñëwé ñu atelen wala mbiru custody kan mokoy amé mbiru mira su nit ki déhé kan moy am lolu government institution ni government la bo xamné teural nako ña fay nek yes nitu diiné lañuy doon xam xamul islam lañuy am waye sa laaj bi dafay jëm ci euh diiné jo xamné is not institutionalized ci rew mi fi ci gambia bu boba gis na ci ay wall yo xamné seeni taxaway wala bo taxawayu diiné dafa positif waye amna wall go xamné dafa negatif wall gi positif ci suma gisin moy mbolem niti diiné yi ci seen khutba yi ak ci seen radio programme ci ak ci seen television programme ci ñu ngi ci gorgolu bu baaxa baax pour di enlighten nit ñi ba nga xamné toñante du am accountability dina accountability dina am ci digënté nit ñi euh walu gog dafa positif waye amna benen wall bo xamné dama gis né dafa négatif moy kuñ toñ masalan nit ku def njaxum yu reuy niti diiné wara jokk pour di jéma ñaan buñ ko buñ ko buñ ko buñ ko tek li nga xamné mom lako yoon tek bobu man dama japp né dafa négatif because niti diiné warta interfere ci justice abadan ndem mbir mi mbiri justice la nañ bahi justice mu def ligéyam li nga xamné mom lañ teural ñu def ko waye fofa sañatu lo di sekk ben djégo di di uti shafa'a moy ngay ram di djéma tinu euh waaw diw sangam nangam def na na way nañ xor rek mbokk gi nangam nangam pour ñu bahi yeb lolu dafa négatif te lolu niti diiné yi dinañ ko dey def légo lég sax ci ñom lañ dey ñew yes man gis na ci sédé na ci lolu lu bare bare nit ko ray nit wala nit ko reep jigen masalan euh yakal ko adinam de nga ñu war ko yobbu koot ñu ñu ne dedet nañ ñew waxtaan dedet nañ ko bahini na so bu boba kañ kañ lañuy discipline nit ñi because mbir mi su fekke lo def nga getawé of it ku nek daf koy ñëmé pour def ko ëlëk su boba niti diiné waru ta dugg ci yoyu niti diiné liko war moy na 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 encourage euh li nga xamné mo right ñuy jëfëndiko accountability on lesson on til nga xamné nak xeyna li mistake la wa fo xamné lo xamné set na ni mistake la 
ñu jéma tinu waxtan ci yoy waye yenn fa so ngi jëf yi kenn waru ci duggal sa loxo rawatina su demé dal ba dugg ci loxo justice lool mom l'islam daf ko terer completely jamono yonenti bi nit amna nit ñuko defone nit ñu ñew nit ku sacc ñu atté wara dog loxo bi gaay def délégation ñew pour jéma waxtan naka lañuy def ba mu ne leen mu ne leen bu leen ko defati even suma don fatima su saccionté dina dog loxo bi waaw kenn du kenn du ñu ne lo bi li la wax ba paré nga ñew di fexé pour ñu jëm ko wañi daay lut ko jutal ko no lolu niti diina waru ko def lolu njumté la kon su boba dama gis né diina fi ci gambia mu ngé pilé very vital role pour gis né nit ñi enlighten nañ leen ñu xam yoon xam akay ba paré di encourage accountability pour nit ñi mëna dunda ci ci jamma euh waye lego lek euh dana ñuy tarfati ci di duggal seen loxo ci yenn yo xamne waruñ ci wona duggal seen loxo dañu warona bahi justice mu def ligéyam that's my humble opinion euh xana tej rek santat len ci programme bi euh wala bo mashru ala qawma nak ngeen ko tudde waye lima japp moy euh suko yalla defé mu soxit dina dimbalé nation bi bu baaxa baax wax deug yalla pour kenn ku ci ne xam li nga doon ak ki nga doon ak naka nga wara jëflanté ak sa nawlé ak naka lañuy def ba réew mi bokk ci réew yi nga xamné dañuy nek exemple ci li ñoo tudé peaceful coexistence ci ñi bokkul luñ gëm ci ñi bokkul nanu way kenn ku ci ne xam sa ak ñu mëna dund ñun ñep ci jamm te lool moy indi development moy yobbu rew mi ci ci kanam ci walu economy ak walu gu nek dal so ñu ngi leen di sante yeen ñi nga xamne yeena ci taxaw di ñaan yalla mu dimbale leen ba lepp seen yengatu bi yalla barkel ko jer ngeen jef we then sat down with pastor sylvester jamé of the gambe christian council who shared with us the concept of accountability in christianity so pastor yes please uh we would want you to help us expand on the concept of accountability in Christianity. Accountability is part of the DNA of Christianity. Um, from the beginning in Genesis, we see God coming back to man to ask Adam particularly, what have you done? Because God gave instructions. Uh, maybe Adam treated the instructions of God as a suggestion. And you see, uh, instructions and suggestions are not the same. <laughs> so God gave an instruction, and uh, Adam missed the mark, of course, you know, he and um, his wife. But you see, we see the concept of accountability playing out, because God came to say, what have you done? Where are you? Helping man to locate himself, and then asking, where, I mean, what have you done? And not that he didn't know what man did, but God was giving man an opportunity to realize himself. And um, also an opportunity for man to simply voice out what happened. Because in voicing out what happened, you know, something else will take place on the inside. Um, so in saying that accountability is part of the DNA of Christianity, um, the Bible also tells us that we should confess our sins one to another. If I decode that, it means be accountable one to another. The end of that scripture says, so that you may be healed. So what are we seeing? We are seeing that um, uh, accountability precedes healing. You see what I mean? Um, uh, so in the context of our nation and what's going on with the TRRC, uh, scripture is actually telling us that accountability should come before the healing process begins. Um, uh, so it is necessary for people to be accountable, to uh, give account of what has happened in the past. Jesus himself gave parables in the scriptures, uh, par parables about um, accountability. He says somebody was about to leave a country, he gave some talents to uh, three different people and came back to ask them what they did with it. Talent here, um, uh, we are also looking at what God has equipped us with to do. Um, people say a lot about life. They say life is a game, play it well. Uh, life is a seed. Life is a puzzle. 
But from the angle of scriptures, we understand that life is a trust. What do I mean? Uh, God has entrusted us with life. And the concept of judgment reveals that accountability is um, uh, part of the nucleus of religion. Because if there will be judgment, what is the judgment about? You have to give account of what you did on, on earth uh, so that God will decide what your fate will be. <laughs> you see what I mean? So um, to wrap this question up, accountability is part of the nucleus of Christianity. You have talked about in the, in the explanation for accountability as being the nucleus of the Christian, um, Christian faith. We, um, I don't know if you can just elaborate a little bit on the concept, because when we talk about accountability, we have you know, the accounting for what you have done. We also have consequences like uh, punishment. Um, in that concept, is, is, there, is, there, is there provisions for that in the Christian faith? Yes, so accountability of course meaning, you know, giving people the opportunity to narrate, to express truth, you know, to say exactly what happened and not to twist it around. Um, it's necessary and when that happens, uh, from a scriptural point of view, when people give an account of what has happened, depending on what that is, if it's wrong, of course. Uh, choices have consequences. Uh, that parable I told you about, Jesus narrated that story. And how did it end? The master came back and was taking account of what has happened in his absence. Uh, one gave I mean, um, an account of what happened with him, with what he received. The other person did the same thing. The third person did the same thing. Now, the first two, they did very well with what they were given. The last one didn't do very well with what he was given and so here is the judgment of that guy listen take this guy tie him and throw me th throw this guy out of here let he will not enter into that which is glorious and beautiful so there is a consequence for not doing that which one is expected to do we must realize that this um, takes a process um, uh, you noticed that when Jesus narrated the parable um, the master came back and had to sit those people down and they had to each give an account of what happened in the absence of the master or what, how they spent um, their time in the absence of the master. So it took time. They had to narrate that. And of course, the master got that information, processed that information, and of course, considered um, uh, the framework within which uh, those guys were walking in and uh, came out with a conclusion or with a verdict of what would happen. So this process must take place. Due process must, I mean, uh, um, take place for things to uh, be done in a healthy way and in a way that will generate peace, yes. Thank you very much, Pastor, for expanding yeah. on that. Um, so our next question to you would be to help us understand better the responsibility of the state in, in when it comes to accountability, responsibility towards the, its, um, its subjects. We, we must realize that, that truth is powerful. Uh, the Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. This is a scripture. Um, so it is the responsibility of the state to facilitate um, uh, the sharing of truth. Uh, the state must provide um, the mechanisms needed for either the victim or the perpetrator to be able to share their own version, their own stories, their, I mean, their own accounts of what has happened. So the state must provide that platform. Uh, but it is also the responsibility of the state uh, to ensure that as the victim or the perpetrator are sharing their truth, um, that they are also protected. Um, people around m cannot take the law into their own hands. In essence, I'm saying it is the responsibility of the state to create a platform where truth can be shared, but it is also their responsibility to protect both the perpetrator and the victim until the truth is established. And then uh, from the established truth, they will then determine what should be done because we have a legal framework that determines the outcome of certain crimes. Thank you. Um, in our last conversation, we talked about um, religion and forgiveness. 
and here we are talking about accountability, forgive, accountability in religion as well. And we mentioned in our last conversation that Gambia is not an Islamic state or a Christian state, theological state, but it is, um, the people are religious people for the most part. So we wanted to um, ask your perception on uh, the, what role religion plays in our country when it comes to accountability. Do you think that religion interferes with uh, the process of accountability in the Gambia? Um, on the main part, I would say yes, um, because there is a deeply seated belief um, that things that happen are ndogolo yala. Somebody kills somebody, they say, we say ndogolo yala. Somebody rapes somebody and we say ndogolo yala. So that deeply seated belief of ndogolo yala, it's actually creating a paradise for perpetrators. It's creating a paradise for criminals. They do wrong and then we say ndogolo yala. We must remember uh, that God created man and gave man volition. There is the concept of free will in religion. God does not force anybody to do anything. And that's why we say God does not violate the volition of men. Um, and God gave man free will. Let me repeat it. He gave man free will. In other words, man has the capacity, the ability to make choices. God said in the Bible, I have placed before you life and death. You choose what you want. So God doesn't choose for us. We choose for ourselves. And so if we have this concept of free will, and then we see men decide to do that which is not in line with the will of God, not in alignment with the precepts of God, they can't go do wrong and we still say, Ndogalu yalala. Uh, Lisa, I cannot go see a young lady, take the young lady, rape the young lady, you know, out of my will, and then I call it Ndogolo Yala. Um, I don't see where that connects. Um, Ndogolo Yala is to do that which will glorify God. And that which will glorify God is to see a young lady like that and respect that young lady and, and, and value that young lady. Uh, because we, as a society, we must value people. We must look for ways to value people. We must think of ways to value people. We must intentionally do something to value people, and we must encourage others to value people. And um, so when I do wrong, um, it cannot be Ndagolo Yala. And I cannot hide behind religion, religion to say Ndagolo Yala. No, God gave me free will. If I choose to gratify my flesh by doing the wrong thing, there are consequences. And um, religion shouldn't support me with that. Religion should, I mean, uh, rebuke me, tell me that is wrong, and tell me the mind of God when it comes to things like that and not support it. So to answer your question again, whether religion interferes with I mean, uh, the process of accountability, I would answer you again, my sister. On the main part, yes, yes. And um, that should not be. Um, we should teach people that there is the will of man and the will of God, which is good, pleasant, and perfect. Jesus said, let your will be done and not mine. He had a choice. He had a choice to say no, I mean, to the sacrifice or to accept it. But he said, my will is not a good one. But Father, let your will be done. So we see there the display of choices. Choices have consequences. Those who choose wrong face the consequences. Gambia is not a Christian state or an Islamic state. I mean, uh, it's a secular state and the state has laws. Whoever breaks the law should face the penalties. Well, thank you very much, Pastor, for clarifying and uh, sharing your, your knowledge with us. We appreciate your time. Finally, we sat down with Nene MC Cham, a private legal practitioner in the Gambia, who deliberated more on accountability in the Gambian legal system. Nene. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the concept of accountability in the Gambian legal system? Yes. Uh, well, accountability effectively means the fact of being accountable. That's just, you, you can get that definition. And in our legal system, um, if somebody is accused of doing something, they 
are taken to court in order to be held accountable if they have done, if they are guilty. If they're not guilty, they're let off. So accountability means facing up to the consequences of what you have done. And uh, that means when you're taken through the system, I, if, if it's caught, since you're talking about the legal system, and you're found guilty of whatever crime, the accountability comes in, you have been taken through the process, so accountability begins, in my opinion, from the beginning. You are being brought to account. And then at the end of the day, whatever the result is, uh, then that will. And then further, if you are held responsible for what you have been accused of doing, then a punishment is meted out on you. And that punishment could be fine, could be whatever. So in, 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 in a way, when you talk about the accountability here, you're talking about criminal, in criminal cases mainly, I, I, I think, mm -hmm. particularly in the context of the uh, TRRC, in the context of the back of what we have come out of. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about criminal cases, and basically that's what it means, being brought to justice. Uh, accountability means also um, allowing the victims to see that justice is being done. It's all part of the process. Because if I'm a victim and I, 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 don't, I could be told, oh, he was taken to court, he was acquitted and discharged, and I didn't see it, I didn't hear it. I don't even know if it's true. To me, there has not been any accountability. So it's not something, sometimes it's not very tangible, but it's a feeling for the victim. It's a feeling that, you know, I think, yeah, this person has been brought to account for what they have done to me. For the person, in my opinion, it would mean that, you know, I have done wrong and I have been taken through the court process, the rule of law, because we have rule of law, and I have been given a sentence and I accept it. And so society will see that there is accountability. People have paid for their actions. It's very important because otherwise we live in a state of impunity and uh, victims are desperate, they're discouraged, and, uh, and, 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 and perpetrators continue to get away with it, basically. So, so I don't know if that... that it, certainly, it certainly does, it certainly does. And um, it's like you mentioned, the concept of TRC. We are looking, talking about accountability in terms of criminal, criminal, criminal justice, mm -hmm. where in, we are in that context. So moving on, mm -hmm. um, we wanted to talk a little bit more about the responsibility of the state when it comes to holding perpetrators accountable and also in uh, victims seeking justice. What would be the responsibility of the state? It is the responsibility of the state to bring any, any criminal to account, any accused person, because you are, you are accused until you are proven guilty. It is the responsibility of the state to ensure that there is accountability. And it is, I think, that responsibility that the state, the government, has taken so seriously as to set up the transitional justice process as, 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 as a mechanism to sort of sorting out what we have come out of, rather than just dragging people and taking them to court. So it's all part of the process of getting accountability. People must account for their actions. They must do, because otherwise then, then we, li we live in chaos. If there's no accountability, then the state has failed its people. It has failed the victims. Mm -hmm. It has. I mean, an example would be sometimes when some, for example, when a, a, there's, a, there's a, a, somebody accused of rape, for example. The evidence is there. You know, but through whatever, <laughs> you know, the person gets off. Sometimes we know the legal process. Mm -hmm. And uh, you feel that you have not. So in that instance, the victims will feel that the state has failed them even when they believe that they have been wronged, but the process didn't uh, end up giving, well, vindicating what they have said, mm -hmm. they, would, they would tend to think, feel that the state has failed them. And this obligation is a, very serious, is a very heavy one. It begins with the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. It is a responsibility, the duty of the state to protect its citizens, to safeguard their rights, human rights, whatever rights that they're, they're entitled to and uh, to guarantee that and in the event that those rights are violated, it is for the state to step in and ensure that uh, there is accountability, that whoever has done it has, has, has paid the price. What about the perpetrator? 
the further, further the perpetrator in this in terms of the state um, to, the perpetrator also has rights of course he does of course he does we live in a, a, a you know we have rule of law the perpetrator as, as I say well we call them perpetrators because I think that's the term being used at the TRRC <laughs> alleged perpetrators but in, for, in law we call them accused persons so so the accused persons of course the Constitution guarantees their right to fair hearing fair trial and the presumption of innocence until proven guilty. Because sometimes the evidence may really point to somebody when it's not really them. There are circumstances that brought them there the very last minute and then they're, they're, they're caught with their, with their hand in the till, so to speak. So we must respect that. Much as we really want to satisfy the victims and, 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 and make sure that you know, the, they're, they're heard and the people who violated them or abused their rights or whatever are brought to justice, we must also ensure at the same time, for the credibility of the process, otherwise it's one-sided. We must also ensure that anyone accused is taken through due process, and then at the end of the day, if the evidence is there, they will be convicted. If not, they will be acquitted, and that's the rule of law. That's, that's, what we, that's the system we have. It's not perfect, but that's the system we have. Now, the theme of our national dialogues centers around forgiveness, accountability, and healing. And I know that you're not a religious expert, but I just wanted to just, you know, throw this question out there in terms of Gambia being inhabited by a majority of religious people. In your opinion, do you think that religion interferes with the rule of law in terms of accountability, holding perpetrators accountable, well, and giving victims I, redress? I don't think, for me, I have a different perspective. I have a perspective. I don't think that it, is, uh, it, it interferes. Uh, it affects, but I don't think it interferes with the, the, the normal process. Because at the end of the day, even in, if you're talking in, in exam, for example, because I'm Muslim, nobody should be forced to, to forgive. Nobody ought to be forced to forgive. Mm -hmm. Somebody forgives because they feel that they are at that level, that, that point mm -hmm. where they have let go of all anger, they have let go of hatred, they have let go of a lot of things, and they're willingly forgiving. And I don't think that's, that would be interference, you know, personally speaking. But then uh, you have to balance it with the duty of the state to protect the citizens from somebody who is a perpetrator, from a criminal, for, for example. So that you may find some instances when the victim wants to forgive, but the state will not let go. Because it's not just you. They've perpetrated against you, they could do it to somebody else. And I'm here as the state to protect the whole public. So there you may see clashes and sometimes you get them many in rape cases where the families have decided to settle but sometimes the state will say no, no really I mean we need to pro prosecute this. We have the evidence, we have everything and uh, it, as a deterrent to other people and even when they, where they want to proceed the witnesses are the, the victims. How willing would they be to help in that process. So in that way, I don't want to say uh, interference, it's, it's, it's not deliberate, but it affects it that way. And, and another aspect also of forgiveness in Islam that I understand is that, you know, you, as I said, you cannot be forced, but before you forgive, you're able to forgive somebody, they must at least confess. They must at least admit to what they have done to you. That's the starting point. You cannot have a, you cannot have forgiveness without that because they have not even owned up to the, to the crime. So they, that's why um, the TRRC. I mean, at least people come out and tell the truth. Well, some people, and and that is good, for the victims because then you spend years agonizing. Some people have relatives who've disappeared. I heard how somebody that I knew very well was killed when Oya was giving evidence on the TRRC. It was just speculations before. Nobody knew, but to have somebody come and confess, it doesn't mean that you have to forgive them after they've done, but knowing the truth is very important. So, so the person has to confess, and then you find it in your heart to forgive them. But if you don't forgive them, it says, if you can, what word, uh, 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 retaliate or pay back, mm -hmm. but not more than what they have wronged you. Ah, and that is very difficult. That's why Islam advises just forgive because you can't quite balance. So that's very, very important. Uh, uh, and, and if they, without that acknowledgement, nobody can force you. And if you don't forgive, it doesn't mean you're a bad Muslim. I don't believe. 
because the person who's wronged you has not even admitted. So why, why, how would you even begin to forgive? So, so that's that's just my perspective on 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 on, on that aspect of of it. Your question. As we come to the end of this episode on religion and accountability, it is important to highlight that neither religion nor the state condones violence against people. This session has also showcased that instead, society needs to support victims in seeking their rights against their perpetrators, and the state has a responsibility in ensuring that accountability takes place. We thank you for watching and hope to see you in part four.